Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 7 episode 15. 15, yes, of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is Don't You Forget About Me. And I am excited. Here we are, finally, with the last, how many episodes? Eight episodes of One Tree Hill. Everything that I'm going to react from now until the season 7 finale will be One Tree Hill. So expect for me to react to, I don't know, two episodes today, three tomorrow, three the next day. We will be done with season 7 by the end of this week. And I am hell excited for it because I've been watching some other shows. Lucifer was just chef's kiss honestly amazing second season i'm already done with the second season i'm already done with uh um what's the name the wilds as well uh I'm, i have done a bunch of icarly i mean this month i think has been great i've been able to you know do so much things but you guys know how much i love one tree hill and now now it's time to focus on one tree hill now it's time for us to do reaction videos for the rest of the season i'm not telling you that i'm going to react to every single episode today but like i said on the next few days that's what i'm going to focus on well minus you know the fact that i, I will react to riverdale and legacies the season premiere for both of those shows those are going to be the only shows that i am going to also react during this next few days but other than that it's going to be river uh no not riverdale oh god one tree hill every single day so stay tuned for that i am going to be delivering a lot of content for one tree hill and i think it's you know it's fair enough you know i've been putting one tree hill you know I, I put pause on Wonder Hill to do the other ones just so then I can like fully like devote myself to react to Wonder Hill. So, yes, we are here. If you're on Patreon, if you're on YouTube, I don't know when this is going to be uh, uh, posted since I just finished posting the season four finale on YouTube. So we have season five, season six, and season seven to go. It's Still, I'm on I'm three seasons ahead on Patreon. So probably by the time this is posted on YouTube, I'm already done with the series or about to be done with the series. So in case you guys want to check that out, link on the description down below. Patrons do get early access on cut reactions and this type of binge watches that I do uh, for my favorite shows. So I am excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, the link, like I said, will be in the description down below. And you there you can find a bunch of things. So go and check it out. Uh, I would love uh, to see a lot of you there as well. I mean, the One Tree Hill fandom on... on um, on Patreon, it's amazing, you know, so I hope you guys can join. And also, we have a Discord that I never get in, but a lot of the fans talk on the Discord server uh, about One Tree Hill and obsess about it, okay? So if that's like an added bo bo bonus. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Anyways, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's just begin with Season 7, Episode 15 of One Tree Hill. Here we go. <laughs> girl behind the brown door doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> hey, Brooke, how you doing? Hello. Yeah. I'm just watching a teamster paint my adolescence a fugly shade of brown. Oh, oh yeah, this is, this, is, this is Lucas's house. Yeah, it's the girl <laughs> behind the brown door. It's a red door, right? It's around here for you. The day I graduated, I swore I'd never go back. You have fun, though. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I think he, she was trying to go with you. Hi, Alan. Clay, I'm here for my morning lap. Get up. <laughs> I even shaved certain areas to cut down on my time. Oh, okay, Anyone? yeah, yeah, no. Go Ugh. away. Just go away already. Ugh. Don't tell me you're in there with that miserable slag again. Oh, dude, that slag is her gr his girlfriend. <laughs> yep, yep, that probably that was Queen. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm such a slag. <laughs> Don't mess with the James sisters. Don't. Oh, hello, Mal. So nice to see you. Can't wait to find a date.com. What is Seriously? that? Listen, the best way to get over Melly. This is overcompensating about the fact that you two guys that you guys are dating, right? Those two. Hi, Clay. Oh my child, my beautiful son. Hey man. Morning. Did you keep up him? Where the hell are we? And one might even call it a deluge. Clay. <laughs> He fell asleep. I missed the highway exit and uh, <laughs> drove a few hours in the wrong direction. Great. But the good news is that we're only a couple hundred miles outside of Tree Hill and we're driving a Corvette. We'll be home faster than you can say Yao Ming. That is wonderful. Clay, you're such. <laughs> Yao Ming. <laughs> what on earth? You didn't see that? Do not enter. <laughs> so we'll get home this afternoon. Clay, there was a reason I had to be home this morning. Why? Here I come. I so you guys are ready for me. Why is it your birthday? Uh, pancakes, blueberry. Is it her birthday? Oh, so cute. How don't you remember your mother's birthday? What on earth? I can't believe it. They freaking forgot my birthday. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> That's sad. Haley, we still have it back by tonight. Tonight? Come on. I gotta get a hold of Haley. I always go big for her birthday. She'll Hello. be expecting something. Oh. Use your phone. It's oh my coming. god. Clay. <laughs> I saw you talking to Brooke earlier. She practically begged you to go to that dance. Yeah. Not quite. I think what she said was it wouldn't be weird if I went. Trust me. She, she was wants giving me a go. clue. I think she was just being polite. It's, no, it's come on. Since the breakup. Come it's, it's on. So pro Brooke and Julian. Oh, I'm a total Brulean fan now. <laughs> One of the steps of recovery is to make amends for all the wrongs you've done. Oh, sweetheart. See, with the right help, I knew my child. We'll be on the right track. And she's a brilliant fan. I love this. You still gonna have time to be in the movie? Oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, little sis. It's the big day. Oh, it's no big deal. Of course it is. Today's the day we rescue the endangered arts program at Tree Hill High. What could be bigger uh, than that? That. Thanks. 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 <laughs> oh, Haley. The 80s. I'm gonna go cut my hair. How do you <laughs> don't remember your sister's birthday? Quinn. Please tell me she does. Please remind Quinn to stay until Junk and Fergie get here. Sure. Okay. Mwah. Love you, baby. Have fun tonight. I will. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's he about to do? Hey, was your mom looking for me? Yeah, she wanted me to tell you that she's going to pick up Junk and Fergie, and you can leave whenever. No! Okay. Don't do that. Oh, my God. Stay home alone. Someone's about to kidnap you or something. <laughs> I look at Clay. <laughs> I feel bad, man. Because I love bacon. <laughs> and I love ham, you know, but I met you. <laughs> now I'm conflicted. Oh. Well, I know you're planning on falling insanely in love with that pig. <laughs> but please talk about something else. <laughs> sure. Jamie and I bought a ton of decorations. We were going to do up the whole house. Oh, he does know that. that. Sounds nice. I was gonna make pork ribs. <laughs> I love that. Oh no. Probably flooded from the deluge we had last night. Huh? What did I tell you? Ain't nobody going nowhere for a while. Do you have a map? It looks, okay, there, it looks really go good. Okay, well, we're here, and. If we just hike a few miles north, then we'll make it to the next highway and we can just hitch a ride home that way. 
I, uh, yeah, I don't I know. know. That, you know. Maybe we should uh, just just wait. What if we get lost? <laughs> Dude, I'm like a human compass. Okay, come on. Are we sure? They they they're about to get lost. Oh no. Hey, I'm Kylie. Oh, Which no. one of you little maniacs is Marvin McFadden? <laughs> uh, I'm here for our date. They, they didn't cancel. Your profile said that you're tall and thin with a good body and really big. Okay! <laughs> oh my. Oh my indeed, okay! You do you want you're not like a dude, are you? Satisfied? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the those type of jokes, but okay. Well, it just occurred to me that you spent the entire day making everyone else feel ready for tomorrow. How do you feel? Oh, she's so sweet. I'm I'm glad that we're over the uh, you know, that she's into him, the whole love triangle thing. I was really tired of it. it was dope. Really good drama, but I like the fact that they they have found a really good friendship. You know, I like that. I have to find an outfit from the eighties. Actually, I've got that covered. Such a good friend. But just so we're clear, this is not a date. It's not even date ish. <laughs> She's so adorable. She's so. Oh my god. Not bad. No. Hello! Oh my god, how gorgeous is she? She's gorgeous. Can he leave? <laughs> Rook Davis. Stunning in any decade. That is true! Any decade! This is a big night for Haley. When we were in high school, she was always trying to bring back the 80s fashion. <laughs> I wish. I did. I did. Come on. Um, no one excuse is... me. Okay. Aww. Make me something strong. I hate that no one is remembering or what? are they Can all pretending? Do you <laughs> flatter me? It's her birthday. Wow. I had no idea. You're five foot four. <laughs> Everyone ignoring. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna kill that kid. <laughs> I should import smoothie on you. I apologize. Okay, are they gonna kiss? Truce. No. How American of you to pick a fight that you can't win. And just so you know, Clay told me that he didn't believe in love. So good luck with that. I mean, she doesn't care about her sister sleeping with all of her boyfriends. You think she'll care about this random bitch? You look on the bright side, Nate. I mean, if we actually live through this thing, think of the endorsement deals. <laughs> you know, alone. Like, I never would have got lost if it had only Shut been up. for me. <laughs> that conversation. That's the thing. You're talking. You're always talking, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that the human compass needed complete silence to concentrate. <laughs> we wouldn't even be here right now if you hadn't insisted on driving to Atlanta for a guy's road trip. <laughs> if you hadn't a missed tree hill in the rain, if you hadn't driven over those tire spikes, I would be home right now, Clay. Aww. I'm on the road for half the year. The least I can do is be home for my wife's birthday. Nate, I know Haley. She'll understand. Well, she shouldn't have to. Yeah. You know Aww. that if you were ever married. Wait, you don't know that yeah, he was? Right. Yes, I would have gone this way. That's Clay, that's not the right way. Yeah, I know. You're the human compass. You know what? Just do whatever the hell you want. Going this way. Oh, no. Revert to the geek you were in high school. How adorable do they look? How adorable. Come on. Look at her looking like a million bucks. There she is. <laughs> you look awful. Geek. 
Why don't you take a chance and ask the popular girl to dance? Maybe oh, because the no. popular girl's already here with somebody else. I'm sure it's not what it looks like. Yeah, it's not. It would be the 80s without a cameo by Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> I just wish he wasn't on a date with Brooke. Of course he showed up with Alex. No! Oh Monday my god! Home. The fact that both of them think this. I, I hate I hate this. Hey, grab that flower pot. It looks like we're gonna have to break a window. Wait, what? No, don't break any window. Oh! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Jamie! Hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up! Oh, Jamie! Wait! It's us! Oh, hey guys. <laughs> My locker was down there. Mine was over here. Do you remember when Lucas pimped it out the first day of senior year? <laughs> I wonder if the combinations don't work. Brooke Davis! I mean, why not? It looks like she really loves him. Aww. Do you ever think things were simpler then? <laughs> what, the love triangle between you, Lucas, and Peyton? No. 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 <laughs> He's here with Alex. So are you, the boy version. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. No, how is it different? He made it clear that she's his priority right now, and I think he has feelings for her. He doesn't. Whether or not he admits that, I can't be the girl who's with the guy who's in love with someone else. Not again. No, you're not. Tell me about it. You, that I'm here with Brooke. But you know, just for the record, I'm actually a nice guy. Oh, fuck off. The one that is an, an actual good, a nice guy says I'm a nice guy, other than mouth, probably. But still, like, go away. You're not here with the Brooke. And the with, you know. You know what? Move away. <laughs> No one needs you right now, Alex. Okay. Well, also for the record, if you ever hurt her, I will hunt you down across the outback. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the steakhouse. <laughs> Gorp is like, what? I wouldn't last five minutes in the outback. <laughs> is he? This is adorable. I don't get it. Please tell me you're going to fall in love with her or something. I don't get the point of that hey, girl. Can you help? Clay told me that he didn't believe in love. And then you come along. True. And I realized what he really meant was that he didn't believe in love with someone like me. Well, I kind what does that mean? Than that. No. Guys see me as a body, someone to shag. I'm lucky if they even buy me breakfast. Well, then you're sh selling yourself short, girl. Yeah. <clears throat> when do you happen to have scissors in your back? Cut it. <laughs> but no way. Uh, it's just hair. It's gonna grow back. No, you're drunk. And well, why do you have scissors in your exactly. back? Exactly. I was gonna slash your tires. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> just cut my hair, you bitch. <laughs> Plus, it was still smell like. Nate, there's something that I've never told you, and I don't know why I've never told you, but I just didn't. I used to be married before you and I met. Her name was Sarah. <laughs> right. She leave you after you started sleeping with all those women? No, dude, don't charge. No, actually, she died. Yeah, I bet you feel like crap right now. <laughs> Are you Nate poor thing? Yeah, just imagine that. Imagine if Haley wasn't here with. Like, Knock on wood. That's not never gonna happen. You, you touch my Haley. Please, oh, Clay. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Don't hurt me. No, no, no. no we're, and all he wants to do is get back to Tree Hill so he can spend the next few hours home with his wife to celebrate her birthday. You're Nathan Scott. Yeah, he is. Yes. Hello. And you're a basketball fan, huh? Well, I do live in North Carolina, honey. I can take you back to Tree Hill. Yeah. But I only have room for one. Oh, come on. Tell Haley I said happy birthday. There's no way I'm leaving you out here, Clay. No, it's okay. I'll catch the next ride. Clay, come on. Nate, go be home with your wife. Go. Clay's such a good friend. He's such a good friend. Clay. Why is 
please tell me you didn't kill that nice lady. <laughs> the There's no way I can spend that. No, I just bought a car. <laughs> Get in. Let's go home. That's a bit. <laughs> Like the fact that he has so much money that he can do that. My child is a successful basketball player. <laughs> You're so dramatic. <laughs> Julian, I fucking love this man. I fucking love this man. <laughs> Look at him being all dramatic. <laughs> why is he like that? Why he why are you like that? <laughs> Yeah, sitting in half a car, like looking at like at nothing. <laughs> He's so fucking extra. I love him. Well, I've seen my share of eighties movies, and if I've learned anything, it's that nothing boosts the geek's confidence like a kiss from the cheerleader. True. Yes. <laughs> my babies, look at them. Look at them. I actually choose her right now. It's so beautiful! And so in love! You're gonna do great. I love this! Look at you, you're so gorgeous! Both of you! And so in love! <laughs> you broke? Don't say marry me. This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I was like, oh, he's about to say marry me or something. I was gonna jump out of a plane right now. And I'm not in a plane, but like out of a window. I have a window right there. You and I being friends. You guys are not friends. No. Stop it, this nonsense. Kind of not being in each other's lives at all. You guys need to stop this nonsense. That's what you guys need to do. Come on. It's okay, I can wait. I have a little bit longer. Like two minutes. Come on, go after her. My some advice from one Alex to another, don't fall in love with Brooke Davis. Those two are gonna end up together, even if they don't know it yet. <laughs> Honestly, she's like the biggest brilliant shipper. I love this, I love hey, this. Hey, how do you know it? Oh, hell. Oh, <laughs> there he is! How beautiful is he? Well, whose car is this? Ours. Yours. Oh! Happy birthday, Hales. <laughs> He's so cute! Oh, I love Brace and she went to that for! I love babies, are so adorable! Look at them! Oh. I'm actually going to cry! Oh. How they this adorable! They own, they own, they own my soul. They own my soul. I swear to God, they own everything. Not that bad. They look really cute together. Oh. Well, I guess Junk and Furby actually did a good job. Maybe yeah, when they remember. Oh. Happy birthday, Mama. Thank you, baby. That's so good. This is a wonderful family. You're such a beautiful family. Hope you have the best birthday. <laughs> I am about to cry. What are you gonna wish for? I already have everything I ever wanted. <laughs> So I just want to. I I just don't get how they can be that perfect. I swear I I, I don't get it. I don't get how they can be that perfect. Say how grateful I am that you're all. So let's make someone's favorite movie. Yes! <laughs> you did amazing! Okay, places, everyone. Pictures off. 
Roll camera. Yes, director, my my Spinning. Yes, 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 yes. Same thirty-four. Okay, guys. So that was the end of season seven, episode fifteen of One Tree Hill. A really cute episode. Um, I don't know why I cried. Well, I almost cried. Well, I had a few tears, but they didn't drop. But I was like, I don't understand why I was so emotional about it. I, I, I don't get it. But like, Naily is just, they have that power, you know. They have that power. So, this episode. Uh, it was much more type of filler-ish filler -ish type of episode. But that doesn't mean... That it wasn't a great episode as any other episode of One Tree Hill is. Um, but this episode had uh, something... Um, well, here's the thing. It was Haley's birthday, you know. But sadly, uh, Nathan was in, on the road. Uh, because Clay said, you know what? We should just do a... Um, um, we should drive back to Tree Hill. It's okay, it's not going to be any problems, like, we're going to be there by morning. And that's what Nathan wanted, because he wanted to have, to give Haley a, a, an amazing birthday. The reason why he wanted that is, I love, I love when when uh, Clay was like, Oh, it's okay, Haley will understand. And I love that Nathan says to him, well, she doesn't have to. Okay, that right there means so much. You know, because that truly is the heart of Naomi. Like, the fact that they don't take each other for granted. That that was just so beautiful, you know. He knows that Haley has sacrificed a lot for him. He knows how uh, much he, she, he loves her, you know. And he knows that it's an important date. He wants to be there for his wife. And so he's like, nah. She wouldn't, she shouldn't have to understand this as well, you know? I don't want to be that person. And I just, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful that after seven seasons, the love that they have for each other is still very, you know, there. He has never felt like they are, you know, they have never reached that point as a couple of when they're just like, yeah, oh, okay. They take the other one from, for granted. You know, even if they love each other, they still do that. I am so happy that after seven seasons, after so many years, they are still very much their number one person. You know, that person that they always think about, that they care about. Yes, of course, they love and care about Jamie. But as a significant other, there is no one uh, for, you know, no one else for each other. And, like, I love that. It was so pure and like of course Haley's not expecting like this big ass party or like big ass compliments the one thing she wanted was to be with Nathan you know and like that is the one um birthday wish that she was expecting that she was craving for and the minute she got it it was just so goddamn beautiful it was so beautiful you know <sighs> I almost die, I almost cry. It was so, it was like the power that Nayli has is just incredible. I mean, let's be real. Yes, Brooke and Juliet are like, they own my soul. They own everything I am. You, they own my soul, okay? But as a, you know, like one of the core relationships of the show, like the one that has been here for the longest, it's still Nayli. And I don't. I don't see it, like, I, I can't imagine the show without them. To, true to be told, I wasn't expecting to have to go through the fact that I'm not seeing late in a, every time I watch a new episode of One Tree Hill. I understand the circumstances and all of that. Um, but I don't know if I could survive not living with Naily. you know? Um, I, I think that part of the reason why I'm okay with not seeing Layton is because of what you guys told me about what happened with with Hillary and all of that, which makes me feel like, okay, she needed to be safe, and okay, kudos to her, and it's amazing that she was, you know, she didn't got, she she didn't sign, and she didn't renew her contract, and she's not here, totally understand it, but I also am glad that they left it in such a beautiful place for them, of course I wanted more, you know, but I, I'm happy that 
it it, it ended in such a beautiful beautiful place for both of them where we can't imagine what they're doing you know but i don't know if i could survive not seeing naily on on one tree hill i don't know um don't even try to test me please uh <laughs> anyway so um yeah it was Haley's birthday no one not how is it that brooke n didn't even remember her birthday like that is your friend like i i don't understand it but no one did, you know. She went as far as to give uh, Grops, Crops, I don't know what the name of the bartender is. She she gave him her driver's license, I think. And he, he was like, oh, you're 5'4", instead of looking at the date. Of course, that's not what he's looking at, because he knows she he knows that she's old enough to drink. But, like, I think that Haley was like, oh, come on, can someone just say happy birthday to me? She was done at that point, you know? Um, but, yeah, I, I can't believe that Brooke didn't remember, you know? Um, the other thing I'm loving, loving this, uh, on this episode was Alex, you know, or original Alex, because that's the, the one that counts. The other Alex, Alexander whatever, um, he, I find him annoying. I don't know why. He's cute. I'm not saying I almost drool. But, like, he's cute. Like I said, I'm not saying that he, he isn't. But, um... I find him extremely annoying. Probably because he is getting in the way of Brooke and Julian. But I love Alex. And she was getting also in the way of Brooke and Julian. So, I don't know. But I'm like, you know what it is? You know what it is? The fact that he called himself a nice guy. Go fuck off. Like, seriously. He might be. But, like, who in their right mind? Like, and who... I mean, you have to be very narcissistic, I think. To call yourself the nice guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm you know, also pointing at, at the other nice guy. You know, what's his name? Mouth. Marvin McFadden. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it, it's cringy. To point it out. I don't know. It's like when on Riverdale, they, they like Veronica says, we are endgame. It's cringy like that. It's just cringy when they say, oh, I'm the nice guy. Fuck off. Let me judge that. Don't be that narcissistic to believe that you're... The Honestly, it annoys me. And uh, Alexander annoys me. You know, because he's... Well, I don't know. It, I think it's because... He says that he's a nice guy, and also because he's in the like in the way of Brulian, and also he hasn't had like that type of development as Alex had, so maybe that's the reason why I'm like, why is why am I wasting time with him? He he's nice, he's but mm, leave. I wouldn't. I I'm not. I'm not gonna miss him if he's gone. Like if he stays here for like three more seasons, I'm gonna. Be, I'm probably gonna regret this, but. As of now, I find him very irritating and very annoying. I'm sorry, that's just the truth, at least for me. I don't know, I find him annoying as hell. There, I said it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what else? What else? What else happened on the episode? Well, Alex telling um, uh, Julian that uh, she's a brilliant fan. Um, and then she actually confessing to the other Alex, Alexander, that the reason why, you know, like, she's like, just step away, you know, just step away and, like, don't get in the middle of them because they love each other. And I know because I love Julian, you know, and I love the fact that, you know, her feelings, I mean, what she felt is not just going away because she went into rehab, you know, it's still there, but she's more mature about it. And also is thinking about Julian, her friend, uh, because she knows how much he cares about Brooke. And she knows there is no competition there. And whether if she has feelings for him, has made it like she finally accepted that he has feelings for Brooke, that there is no one else for him than Brooke. Um, and even so, she's, you know, a good friend. And she's acting like that friend that I think Julian needed. You know, that friend that will also... Look out for him. And I like that. I like that even though I will love if, you know, my girl Alex can move on from this. 
I, I'm going to guess eventually she will. Because she's young and I mean, she's not going to stay hung up on him forever. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that she is, you know, that I'm seeing growth. You know, that she's also... She's also talking about, you know, the steps of recovering and making amends and things like that that I think are extremely healthy for her. And I think it's just wonderful that she is doing that, that she's really taking this serious, you know. I love that. I love how much growth um, Alex had during this season. I mean, she started like the party girl and all of that. And we have seen an, a, a beautiful arc with her. And I am like... Did I love her before? Yes. Do I love her even more now? Hell yes. Hell yes. And then you have Brulian. Brulian just being like... <laughs> I love how extra Julian is. Like, how extra dramatic that bitch is. I love my son with all my heart. Like, I swear God. Him being like on the, on the workshop, just sitting there on a, out half a car, you know, just like looking at nothing it was just so it was so extra out of him to do that but i love him for it um and right now both of them i think that i think that both of them julian and brooke they just don't want uh um to hurt each other and they don't want to end up hurting at the same time so they're a little bit afraid of just you know jumping in and say you know why we have something beautiful. We have something that could last forever, you know? So let's try to work it out. And I think that uh, they're, they're scared of that. But someone, one of them, have to give that uh, step forward. And I'm just, I'm sure that they're going to work this out. When, I don't know. Do I like the drama? Yes. Do I want them together already? Yes, you know? But for the dramatic effect... I am really hoping that, you know, this ends up with a big declaration of love. I, I just, they are meant to be together. There's no one else for Brooke than Julian. And there is no one else for Julian than Brooke. And like, that is so clear for everyone, you know, that minus that Alexander guy. But for everyone else, we know. We know that as Veronica Lodge from Riverdale will say, they are endgame. Yes, and it's not as cringy, I think, when I say it, you know, as in when she says it. Anyways, I don't know. Um, what else happened on the episode? Uh, I really liked that Jamie, <laughs> he stayed at home alone, you know, he was able to fool Fergie and Junk? I don't, I don't, what is his name? Funk? Wait, I forgot, Fergie and... I don't know. Well, the two guys. He was able to fool them, but thankfully they found out and they were able to go there. But I, I think that having that little Home Alone uh, type of uh, uh, scene, sequence, it was really fun. I really liked it. Um, but yeah. Oh, then we have Quinn, Kylie. And well, Clay was like, I'm really glad that Clay was able to tell Nathan, that uh, he used to have a wife that he really doesn't understand where he was coming from. Um, and I'm glad, you know, that's a step forward uh, on their relationship. Uh, and like, let's be clear. I think Jamie gets his empathic side from <laughs> Haley. Definitely not from Nathan, because Nathan was clueless about what was, happen what was, what was truly happening with Clay. He's not that emotionally that smart when it comes to other people other than Haley. So I'm going to go ahead and say that <laughs> Jamie gets that from his mom and not from Nathan. Uh, but I'm glad that Clay was able to open up and tell um, um, Nathan about Sarah. I think it was important. I think it's amazing that also little by little he was able to open up. Uh, and he was able to do so because, you know, he has someone who he cares about. Quinn, you know, and then this Kylie chick, I was like, is Quinn and Ky are Quinn and Kylie going to like be a thing? I will, I will go for a throuple. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, but I will go for it. I will go for it. Thing is that um, Kylie, Kylie, right? Yeah. Uh, she was still, she's still hung up on Clay, and she was like, oh, I'm just a party girl and things. And then he, she ended up with mouth, and I was like. I thought it was going to be Rachel for a minute, 
but it was that girl and i was like what i don't i understood i didn't understood the point <laughs> of her other than to confirm and mouth is such a nice guy <laughs> Anyways, um, but I really, I, I, I don't know. I like their conversations, but I felt like, I mean, I felt bad for Ke Kylie. You know, not that, I mean, not that um, uh, Clay was asking, you know, she just wasn't the one for him. We, it's clear that the one for him is uh, Quinn. Um, but yeah, we had a bitch fight, but I do love how Quinn is always able to, well, to a degree, you know, because she did pour that uh, smoothie on her head, but, you know, time and time again, she's such a chill person, so different from from Haley in some aspects, because there are some times that she's, like, really, like, gonna cut a bitch down, you know, but, um, um, other than that, I mean, she's very chill, you know? And I kind of like that. I didn't see the point of it. I think that they just needed a character for that. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think they needed a character just to point out how nice of a guy mouth is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's it. I love the episode. I cannot wait to watch the next episode. If you're on Patreon, you will get the next episode right after I finish this. I'm going to record my reaction for episode... 16 so if you guys are excited about that let me know in the comment section down below if if you're on patreon you get episodes back to back uh if you're on youtube we do have a schedule two three times a week we will have a new reaction video for one true heal sadly i can't do it every day because it's like i i handle so many shows and it, it just doesn't work <laughs> uh having them daily maybe i'll try but i don't know if if that will be possible um but like i said i love it this episode and and yeah the next one is coming if not in a couple of days yeah let's just do that every every um week maybe two or three episodes of winter hill on youtube on patreon like i said this next few days other than legacies and riverdale i'm gonna focus solely on one tree hill i think it deserves a binge i mean i've been binging a lot of other shows this is one of my favorite shows and i want to finish season seven before the end of this month so expect a lot of reactions for it and like back to back to back Minus when I do Riverdale and Legacies. But other than that, I'm going to react to a lot of episodes. So right now, I do know I'm going to react to the next episode. So stay tuned for that if you're on Patreon, if you're on YouTube in a couple of days. Uh, and yeah, thank you to everyone who's supporting. Give it a lot of thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon to watch the extended version. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Winter Hill. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.